Rumors are swirling that Prince Harry is keen on securing a role within the Warrior Games amidst the considerable disarray at Invictus Games, which many attribute directly to his poor handling. A reliable source, whose daughter is employed by a prominent veterans organization involved in the Wounded Warrior Project, reports that Harry has been actively pursuing a significant role with the Department of Defense for the game scheduled for June. Despite his persistent efforts, it seems he is largely being avoided by most involved parties. Harry's interest in the Warrior Games could be seen as an attempt to find solace or perhaps a strategic fallback, as Invictus faces challenges. With the Warrior Games boasting greater resources and a broader platform, it's clear why Harry and Meghan might be keen to transition to this larger stage. Critics, however, argue strongly against Harry holding any official position in the Warrior Games, especially given that he is not an American veteran. They suggest his involvement could be seen as leveraging the veteran community for personal advantage. The origins of the Warrior Games are especially relevant here, as they inspired Harry to create a similar initiative in the UK. This further illustrates his intent to maintain strong connections with influential figures and potential sponsors, including notable figures such as US President Joe Biden and other key military and governmental leaders. His participation is viewed by some as a way to access powerful networks and secure funding, rather than stemming from a genuine commitment to veteran causes. The UK's bid to host the Games has also raised eyebrows, with Harry reportedly sharing confidential information with the Member of Parliament leading the bid, amid other questionable incidents involving financial priorities. This has sparked a broader debate about Harry's true motives and his role in what some describe as high-stakes negotiations. Adding to the complexity, there's a growing discontent among former servicemen associated with Invictus, with approximately 2,000 veterans having left the organization. They claim that the games have diverged from their original mission of aiding wounded, injured, and sick military personnel and veterans, increasingly focusing on royal participation, particularly critiqued with Meghan Markle's involvement. The situation poses significant questions about the future direction of both Invictus and Harry's involvement with the Warrior Games as well as his broader role and effectiveness in supporting veteran communities. This ongoing scenario suggests a tangled web of intentions and consequences, reflecting both personal ambitions and the intricate dynamics of international philanthropic endeavors involving high-profile figures.